Chilling new details have been uncovered about the life of a little girl whose body was found in a bag in the back of her father's truck right here in West Palm Beach. News Channel 5's Shannon Cake joins us with more. Shannon. Kelly, a panel met for the second day in a row to investigate the death of 10-year-old Nubia Barraona. During their meeting, they found out there were more signs of abuse that may have been missed. Also today, a lone voice defending the accused, the adoptive father, Jorge Barraona. The three-member panel sat grimacing, listening to the facts. An attorney for Children's Legal Services reading from a transcript sharing heart-wrenching stories of the past. One of them, how Nubia Barraona reacted after soiling her pants at school. The teacher suggested they call Nubia's foster mother, Carmen Barraona. She didn't have the extra change of clothes for Nubia, so she told Nubia she was going to call the foster mother. Nubia went hysterical. The panel and room full of witnesses listened as the attorney explained Nubia's hysteria. When she asked Nubia why, she said, Mama is going to hit me with a chancleta, that is a flip-flop, on the bottom of my feet. That is, from what the experts tell me, a sign of torture. That testimony, too much, even for the attorney to take. Can I have one moment? Sure. Please do. Everyone inside this conference room seemed stumped. How did such alarming examples escape the professionals paid to make sure Carmen and Jorge Barahona were fit to adopt? But somewhere along the way, it appears at this stage that the ball was dropped and that there was a failure to communicate to the psychologist. Yet it seems so obvious, listening to the principal's testimony, that you would say, my gosh, there is something really wrong here. But not to this woman, not necessarily. I saw no signs that anything horrible would happen to these children in this home. Trudy Petrovich is a celebrated foster mom in the Miami area and has cared for 300 foster children over the years. She says Jorge Barahona approached her years ago for advice when the allegations of abuse in his home first surfaced. She even hired him and his pest control company. I look at George Barahona and I think of the man that sat at my counter and we talked for hours. The man that sprayed my house that I would have left my children with if I had to run out. Were the Barahonas evil people? I'd like to find out more facts first. And more facts will indeed be presented to this three-member review team. In fact, the team will meet three more times before making their final recommendation to DCF's top boss. Meanwhile, more information about Victor Barahona, Nubia's twin, found doused in chemicals along I-95, should be released tomorrow. We do know once Victor leaves the hospital, he will go straight to a therapeutic group foster home. I'm Shannon Cake, WPTV News Channel 5.